Hello students. Today we are going to learn lesson number one that is cases. In this lesson we are going to learn nominative case, accusative case, dative case and possessive case. We are going to learn these four cases. Now let us understand. Read the sentence and answer the following questions. Nimisha brought a book of hers for Sohel. So, who brought the book for Sohel? Nimisha. What did Nimisha bring for Sohel? A book. For whom did Nimisha bring her books? For Sohel. Whose book did Nimisha bring for Sohel? Her books. So, these four questions represent these four cases. How? We will understand. Firstly, let us see what is a case. The case of a noun or a pronoun shows its relation to other words in a sentence. Whether it acts as a subject, the direct or indirect object or shows possession or belonging. Now, the case, the case of a noun or a pronoun which is given, it shows the relation. It shows its relation with other words in the sentence. So, whether it acts as a subject, whether it is a direct or indirect object or it is showing any belonging. This is the case. In this lesson, we are going to learn four cases. First is nominative or subjective case. Second is accusative or objective case. Third is dative case. And fourth is possessive or genitive case. So students, now we will learn what is a nominative case. When a noun or pronoun occupies the position of the subject in a sentence, it is said to be the nominative case case. Now, when any noun or pronoun is placed in the position of a subject in the sentence, it is a nominative case. So, you should remember that nominative case is for a subject. Next, accusative. When a noun or a pronoun occupies the position of a direct object, again remember that accusative case is direct object. Now, let us see the example for both. Here, the skunk crossed the busy street. The skunk, it is a subject. So, nominative case. The flight has been delayed. So, the flight, it is a subject. So, it is a nominative case. Again, accusative case which represents the direct object. We cooked the soup together. Now, we cooked. What we cooked? The soup. So, this is the direct object. He made the kite. What he made? Kites. So, this is the direct object. So, understood what is a nominative case and accusative case? Now, we will see the dative case. When a noun or a pronoun occupies the position of the indirect object, in a sentence, it is said to be the dative case. Now, we have seen in nominative and accusative case that it is a subject and a direct object. Here we have indirect object. That means dative case is indirect object. It represents the indirect object. I gave my friend some ice cream. I gave ice cream to whom? My friend. I got these books as a gift for my mother. So, for whom did I uh, got these books? For my mother. So, this is the indirect object. Now, possessive case. When a noun or pronoun shows ownership or possession in a sentence, it is said to be in possessive case. We know that possession means belonging or the ownership. Whenever we are showing, whenever the ownership or belonging is represented, that is possessive case. 
she said that she was taking her cat whose cat her cat so we are showing here the belonging of cat so understood all these four cases students so after learning all these cases now let us start with the exercise question number 1 identify the case of nouns and pronouns in the following sentences some sentences might have more than one case so what we have to do here we have to identify the case of a noun or pronouns given in these sentences now after identifying them we have to write their case given in the blank i have already done for you now see number 1 wani usually brings me my newspaper now here wani is a subject then brings me it is a object and my newspaper is also an object so now wani is a nominative case me is a dative case and my is a possessive case as it is showing possession of newspaper number b that is grishma's laptop whose laptop grishma's laptop so here possession of laptop is shown so possessive case c i usually have my food in the cafeteria i the pronoun it is used as a subject here so when we are representing a subject it is a nominative case my food whose food my so the belonging of food so possessive case the cat is mine but the dog is theirs here we are showing the ownership of cat and the dog so mine and their both these words are the possessive case so students in the same way you have to do e to h in homework